Hello and welcome to our next video. In this lesson, we're going to set up Windows to program in Java manually. Now some courses will require that you do this. Some instructors will not allow you to use an IDE, for example. And so you'll be required to know how to do this from the ground up and be able to compile and run your code manually. Now also, it's a real good idea just to know how to do this so you can see where we've come from to where we're going to. Because for the course of our videos, we're going to be using an IDE very shortly. But for now, I wanted to show you how to do this so that you could get set up and you can see where we've come from. So get manualcheck.java, which is a Java file that's already built for you, and use that to make sure that your system is configured correctly. So what I want to do is go ahead and set my Windows machine up to run Java. So if you remember when we installed Java, we set a specific location for our installation, which was into our program files or program files x86 depending on which version you're running and it'll be under Java and you're looking for the folder with the JDK for the current update version that you're on and inside of there is a bin folder and that has Java and it also has Javac. Those are two programs that are very important for us to compile and run our programs manually. So this path is very important because this is the path C program files Java JDK 1.8.0 underscore 20 slash bin is the path where these two files reside. Now I want to show you if I run a command window right now and I just type in Javac, it'll tell me that Javac is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. Now if I were to browse in my command window to this specific path, then I could run Javac. Now you'll see that all of the information shows up as expected. However, as soon as I'm not in that path, once again, it's not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file, and that's expected. So what I want to do though is set up my path variables within Windows itself so that it will always recognize that Javac no matter where I'm at, because I'm not going to want to put my files that I'm programming into this folder just so I can compile them, which I could do, but that would get really messy really fast. So what I want to do is set up my path variables. So the first thing I'm going to do is find my computer, right click and select properties. Now if you don't have your computer on the desktop, you could go to your start menu, find computer, right click and select properties. That will bring up the same page. And here we're going to then select advanced system settings and then environment variables. Now once we're on our environment variables, down here under the system variables, we're going to look for the one that says path. We're going to select that and hit edit. Now it's very important not to mess this up. There are other programs that also require the path to be set. So don't change anything that's there already. What you want is to add a new one. So at the very end, just hit a semicolon and then remember that path that we had? That's the path that we want to put into that spot. And so I'm going to go ahead and just put the slash on the end of that because it is inside the bin folder. It should work either way. And I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Now you'll note though that I did put that full path in there. I had a semicolon and no space before the C. And so that gave me my new path variable, including this path to my Javac and Java files. What we'll see though is that right now if I hit this in my current command window, it doesn't work. Well, that's because this command window was open before I modified that path variable. So let's go ahead and close the command window. Now in older versions of Windows, you may need to actually restart your machine for the path variables to take place, and that's okay. So if this doesn't work, go ahead and restart your machine and try again. And if it still doesn't work, there's something wrong with your path, go back and fix your path. But now what we can see is no matter where I'm at on my machine, the Javac command is recognized. So I no longer have to browse to that folder to find it. So on my desktop, I have my manual check, so I'm just going to CD to my desktop here. And on there, then I have my manual check, so I'm actually going to run javac manualcheck.java. Now once that runs, it will run with no errors if the file is in the right place and has no errors in it, and it creates another file .class that we're going to actually run. So we'll say java manual check. And it says Java is working on your system. So that verifies that I have now configured my windows for manual Java programming. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.